You may be seated. <clears throat> Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Montoya Sensaba versus Brown. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Montoya, you and your son, Mr. Sensabaugh, claim you've been lied to by the defendant about the paternity of her child on numerous occasions. Yes, Your Honor. Now you say a recent near-death experience makes today's DNA results more important to you than ever. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Brown, you admit to lying about the paternity of your daughter to both plaintiffs. Yes, Your Honor. You say you realize they no longer believe anything you say and you're hoping today's results will finally uncover the truth. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Brown, you say you were in a relationship. How did it end? I didn't. I didn't know that Gregory was such a mother's boy and that I was be dealing with how, his how mother. How am I a mother's boy? I would be dealing with his mother more than him. I didn't lay with her, I laid with him. It ended when we were supposed to, he, he was, we had a conversation and he had said that he was ready to man up and move in together. So I had found an apartment. I had an apartment that was ready for us to sign the paperwork. Um, he was supposed to show up the day of us seeing the apartment and giving the money and signing the paperwork. He never showed up. So you're at the leasing office? He never ready showed Ready to sign up. the papers for the apartment he and he never showed, showed? I called him. He didn't return my call for days later after I left California. No, 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 yeah. no, you, you called didn't. me three days no, that I made no. it into Oklahoma. No, you, you contacted didn't. me. No, you didn't. You said, no, you where didn't. are you and what you doing? Mr. Sensabaugh, no. were you done with the relationship? Was that how you broke up with the her by not showing the up The relationship the wasn't even all like that. Like, it wasn't even all how it seemed to be right now. Like, the relationship, she was still talking to her. You feel me, her? At her ex, mm -hmm. you feel me? So, like, what, what was I supposed to Greg, do? Greg, you know the honest to God uh, truth that you told me you was ready to settle down. Man, you know that's the honest to God truth. Regardless of all this, what brings us here is the lies. I just want to get to the bottom of this and see what, what it is because there was no closure. So, Ms. Brown, at some point you almost end up or you end up with another guy? Yes, ma'am. What I happened? <sighs> um... When I left, when I had left um, California, I went to Oklahoma with my ex. And that's when the calendar comes in. So after he didn't show up with the leasing office? I left. And how soon after you were intimate with Mr. Sensabaugh did you go down to see your ex? It was soon. It was soon. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're admitting to that. Yes, Is that is. evidence you have for me? Jerome, will you pass that? This is the calendar of the times that I was... You slept with both of them? Outlined the dates you were intimate with both men on a calendar, okay? In green are the days you were intimate with Mr. Sensabaugh. Yes, ma'am. In red is outlined the dates you were traveling, and then in blue indicates which days you were intimate with your ex. Yes, Your Honor. That's which is thing, potential father number two. So, yeah, that's doubt. But even looking at this calendar, it lets me know that she even lied about something else because I was told she took a plane to Oklahoma and then when she got off the plane, she was throwing up, ex I guess, experiencing morning sickness. Now, here we go, you drove. Greg knew. You told me. Never I, said. I don't know what you told never Greg or what I, he knew. I never told you that I took a plane to Oklahoma. Yes, you did. But never. did you tell her yes, when you, you got did. off the plane? No. So when did you tell me you started throwing up? I didn't up? talk to you until after until like a little bit after eight months when I told him that he may be the father. You, talk, you I didn't talk to me to until you. after you had your baby. That, that made me com conclude that you didn't want to talk to nobody or say nothing so you could see who the baby resembled so you can put that baby on somebody and it I just happened to be my son. Mm -hmm. This is why I didn't want to say anything. She looks for love in all the wrong places. At the end of the day, she didn't care about... You don't even she, know She didn't me. care about the baby feelings. She cared At about all. the men feelings. Like, who gonna be mad? She didn't care if the baby real father was in her life, who was the real baby. She didn't care about that at the time. She's lied. So, Mr. Sensabaugh, when you heard about the pregnancy, did she say you were the father or you may be the father? She was for sure, like, for sure that I was the father. 
she was for sure I, I was the father. And like, I even without a paternity test, I like try to like get the baby out, like to come out there with me. Like I didn't have no paternity test or nothing. I was just gonna step up and be the father. But she, I said, can you send her out here? Can my mom come get her, whatever. Like whatever you want me to do, however you want to do it. You can bring her out here on the plane, whatever I get her. And can I like meet, like get to know her? Like she was- So that he'd be able to bond with the child being that she had four other, three other children. This one child, it shouldn't have affected her other than just her being the mother of the but child. Her, for her to come bond with who was supposed to be the daddy. She was so worried you about You think who, I was gonna send my child to California with somebody that... You would, agreed to it. But some... Did I do it? To it? Did I you do it? back down. If I was in California, I would have let them visit her and stuff. But it was his lifestyle that I was scared of. That's not true Of her either. letting him That's leave with him either. and something happening to my child. That's I love all either. my children equally and dearly. That's not true and it either because just regardless been not of his, right rega to... like I explained to you, regardless of his lifestyle, I would have been the primary responsible person. And you ain't had the You're best lifestyle You're not the primary responsible either. person when we were sleeping together. So how can I take your word for that? <laughs> If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. My son has had two different separate near-death experiences. He has. So, so does he have to die for the truth to what come out? What happened? He's been shot. And that's the lifestyle that I didn't want to let my daughter leave with. You was messing with him at the time of his lifestyle. It don't matter. I had my kids was nowhere involved, well, unattended well, with this man. Well, Your Honor, Your Honor, I almost lost my life. I got shot six times. I got shot in the head, in the arm, in the back, in the butt. I got shot. So after that, it made me think, like, what if the baby was mine? Like, what if you that's my baby? You woke up thinking about Malaya. Yes. And did you call Miss Brown and say... No, I called his mother. I contacted his mother. No. Our first line of communication was you calling him to tell him that the baby was his. After that, I didn't speak to you or hear about nothing about this I baby for said, a month until I, I got on Facebook baby and seen his. a picture of the baby. I never said the baby was his. I said it was a possibility of this baby Same being difference. His. Possibility. Same and difference. So, no, this is the picture I that I've seen on is, Facebook. You saw was... this picture on Facebook? Yes. And I inboxed her because I wasn't getting no answers from my son. With, with, the, with the other, like, daddy right there. Did you inbox her because when you saw the baby, you felt like it could be your son's or you were just curious because your son told you there could be a baby? No, no, no. Honestly, I, when I saw the baby, I called to check on the baby and her. I'm, I'm not... She can call me as she may. But I still I never care. said I'm anything about person. you, and I still don't think nothing about you because I, I can don't see the... know you as a person. She actually is getting emotional talking about checking on you and your child. Why are you so emotional, Miss Montoya? What are you feeling? I don't know. I don't know what to feel. I just want the truth to come out. <laughs> like, and another reason is because the baby looked like it got... It favors me. So I was just thinking, like, why I can't be in my ch child's life if that's my child? Like, it looked like me. Mr. Sensabaugh, if Malaya is your biological child, do you want to have a relationship? Yes, yes, I want to have do. a relationship with a child. Yes, I want to step up and be a man like I already been trying to do, step up and be a father from the gate without no paternity test. At some point, you even pursued a home DNA test. Correct. Please explain to the court what, what? happened then. That's when I, um... I created this timeline of lies and I submitted it to the court, if I can show Let's you. Let's take a look at that. Yes, ma'am. Okay. The timeline of lies is week one. I purchased the DNA test to which she agreed to take. I honestly believed that she would go forth with doing it and there wouldn't be no problems. But I ended up waiting eight weeks, two months, for her to send it in. And the whole two months, she said, I sent it, I sent it, I sent it. Ms. Brown, had you done the swab? Had you sent the DNA I did the sample swab. in? I, I did, and it sat for a minute because I didn't want to send it in right away. Like, I was, really didn't want to know the truth. All right, continue with the timeline of lies, ma'am. So, <laughs> week 10, finally she sends it in the DNA sample. Week 11, the results came in. I got an email in the middle of the night. And what did the results say? That there was zero probability of paternity. Oh. Zero? Zero. 
But then what happens on week 14? Week 14, I get told by my son that she said she lied and that she swapped one of her other kids on purpose so that he wouldn't be the father. Wait a minute! Miss Brown, did you say this? I said that out of uh, being upset. But so once again, him so once, me crazy. That's once again, lie. cussing me out. And, it's, once yeah, again, again, here we are where I'm, I'm in this emotional state again of maybe I do have a grandchild, maybe I don't. At the end of the day, my son got shot once. He got shot again after these results. That's week 14. Maybe by week 19, he was shot again and almost died. So here we are, we have a, a, still a child up in the air. And that's what brings us here to paternity court. Do you hope she's your grandchild? I don't know. Cause I don't know if I want to deal with her. You don't have to deal with me. <laughs> All right, ma'am. Thank you for your very honest, brutally honest testimony. Ms. Brown, that was a lot of lies. It was. Most of which you admitted to. Mm-hmm. Why so many lies? Because I should have, the whole time I was dealing with her, I should have been dealing with him, and that's how I felt personally. And that's because I cut her off, Your Honor. I cut her off, and I, and I wasn't dealing with it no more. She couldn't, she wasn't, wouldn't let me see the baby, nothing, wouldn't send her out here. I cut her off, and my mom was still calling he her. He didn't even want me to have communication. Yeah, and I he told He wanted her. me to stop pushing the issue. Even with coming to paternity court, he was upset. He wanted me to just not pursue the issue because she is what she is and she does what she does. Why couldn't you let it go? Because that could possibly be my grandchild. This is my son. I can lose him at any given time. He's been shot twice. Who's to say the third time isn't gonna be it? My Mr. son Simpson. almost died when he was two weeks old. So if she wants to consider him a mama's boy, that's fine. With him getting shot, it, it just, it brings just different emotion to me. And I have a 91-year-old grandmother, this, this still able body, and if this is her great, great grandchild, she wants to be a part of her life as well. <laughs> if this is his daughter, She's withholding back a whole bunch of people that could love her. Okay. You're just here to make me out to be the bad guy. You You're are the bad guy. guy. She was sending pictures, okay, I'm posting them on Facebook, Instagram, or whatever, like, like this is my baby, like, you like this, like, it's my baby, like, showing everybody. So she called me like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Now you getting, like, now I'm going through all this because his family member seen that you posting pictures of his baby. Wait a minute. Wait a minute now. What is going on? I made that picture. I made that picture and put that on there. I made that myself. Miss Brown, did you tell him he shouldn't do that? At the moment, yeah. I need you to speak up now. Don't get quiet on me. Yeah, I did. Why? Because my ex was thinking that Malaya was his. And I didn't want to break our family up and to go back into this to deal with all of this nonsense. She told me there was a possibility before she had the baby. She told him that it was a possibility after she had the baby. So she waited to see, like, what without, like. so she don't have to go through nothing. She waited to see what the baby looked like. So if it just looked like him, like, I'd be out the picture. Oh. If you really want to know, we had our own discussions and... I don't care about what from y'all when... I'm here to see if this is my child. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> the only way we're going to find out is to get the results, and I have them here. Well, <laughs> thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Montoya Sensabaugh v. Brown, when it comes to one-year-old Malaya Black, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Sensabaugh, 
Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. When it comes to one-year-old Malaya Black and as to whether Mr. Sensaba is her biological father, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Sensaba, you are not her father. Yes. Ms. Brown, you look relieved. Ms. Montoya, you look crushed. It's not about being crushed. At the end of the day, I really want him to go on with his life, get married, have a baby, and be able to be in that baby's life from birth. And I wish the best for him and his future. How do you feel, Mr. Sensaba? I feel, honestly, I feel relief. I got the truth. Like, it's, it's something big, like, this... This ain't, this ain't little. This is not nothing little. This is a whole life. And this truth, Mr. Sensible, although you don't have a little girl, I need you to understand, if you're ending up in the hospital that often, from gunshot wounds, as a criminal defense attorney, I have represented many, many men and women that live in a certain environment, but you can leave that environment. <laughs> so I want to wish you the best of luck. Take care. And look, I, I gotta ask you, and don't lie, so we know who her father is, yes, right? Ma'am. Good. That's what's important. I wish you the best of luck. Take care of yourselves. Court is adjourned. <laughs>